Hey team, it's Daniel again with Brazos Valley Boars and Varmints. So today I'm going to do a unboxing video because I have an idea of a future video I want to make that is going to be this big comparison, but I am missing one giant elephant in the room, and that is the iRay RH25. So I reached out to Paul Tyson over at North Texas Pig and Products at GearTheHunt.com, and he promptly sent one of those over to me. So let's do an unboxing, see what's inside of here, see what it is that you're actually going to get. Okay, go for it. All right, so let's always make sure that you have your fingers in the way as you're trying to cut, and then cut towards yourself or your loved one or whatever is the most delicate thing that you have around. But uh, just be real dangerous whenever you cut these open, so that way you have a visit to the ER. That's, that's good advice. All right, open this up, throw that away, and inside, already got this Rico Micro Series box. With padding, we'll get rid of that. Okay. Nice. Let's try to be somewhat delicate with this box and not absolutely tear it up. Here we go. Here's a spot I can dig in. Now, one thing about the RH25 is that this is iRay's helmet mounted thermal. And helmet mounted thermals give you a lot of capabilities and functions and uses that other thermals just can't do because they're not helmet mounted, right? That makes perfect sense. But cool thing about this one is that not only can you use it as a helmet mounted, but it's a, a nice size to handhold and you can use it as a clip on or standalone scope on your rifle. So let's slide this open, move some other things out of our way. All right, warranty card, Rico Micro Series user's manual. So you're gonna get all your details. You've got 51 pages of 27 different topics to go through. It tells you everything that you're gonna to need to know about how to open this thing up and turn it on, what all the buttons do, how to do the different modes and the different reticles and how to zero it correctly and all that stuff. So wonderful looking manual there so far. So inside the box, we have our soft pouch. All right. Right off the bat, I love that we get some different color than tactical matte black. This is gonna be a coyote tan, desert tan, whatever tan it is that you think you wanna call this, it's tan. Wow, that's small. I mean, so um, I if I wear latex gloves like you're gonna buy at Harbor Freight, then those are, I, I wear XL size. This is nice. Now, the guys, this is not the full review, so I'm not going to like put all the specs of exactly how big this is. This is just going to be a tabletop opening, and because this is the first I've ever actually got to hold one of these. I'll figure out how to put that on later. Oh, it fit back on. Good. Uh, it comes with two 18650 batteries, just a standard button top size, 3400 milliamp hours. Okay, let's put those right back. Comes with night core charger, which any standard 18650 charger that you have should work just fine. I am not sure exactly what this is going to go to. Homer, do you do you know what this is supposed to go to? I do not. It looks like some kind of little mum bridge thing. Uh, flip the bottom over, or the bottom of the unit over. Oh, okay. It yeah. corresponds with that somehow. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so I'm sure that's going to be explained in the user's manual. Let's see, since we got that slit back here, let's stick our finger in there and see what other kind of fun stuff happens. Nothing, okay. Can you do me a favor? Yeah, what you got? Will you uh, pop the eye, the rear eyepiece off? Oh, sure. Since nobody uses that thing, and yep. then set it next to that Benchmade? Absolutely. No, no, I mean the, the optic itself. Oh, the optic itself next to the Benchmade. 
Guess it is tiny. So let's go back to the pouch over here. Open up this zipper top. Got these cords that came out. Let's see, lens cloth. I'll catch this in a second. Got some tools here. Got some Allen wrenches, all right. Got a separate battery cap, all right. Some tiny screws. I got a feeling that's gonna have something to do with if you're gonna mount it on the rifle or if you're gonna do some QD stuff. That's probably what that's gonna end up going to. This is a two-prong American plug, very good. Nothing else in there. With the cords, let's see. I'm going to have to read the owner's manual on this one. Not sure exactly what that's going to do. It's video out. That's what, that's what correctly. it looks like. Yeah, looks like it's going to be a video output. And I saw that video. I saw what looked like an old school video output right there. So, okay. Well, great, great, great. Let's put all that back in. Let's see if there's any other things to find in here. No, that's all... Nope, that's all in there real well. Oh, there it is. I was gonna, like, I know there's something we've got to be missing. Let me shove this back in here. Here is your QD mount. So, it's gonna be thumb screw. Good. And then underneath was another eyepiece. Okay, okay. And guys, that looks like everything that's in here. This will oh, this was hidden deep. Look at that. Look back down in there. There's a separate pocket mm -hmm. down in there. That's where that was. And then this was all covered up. There we go. And then this was on top of it here. Very good. Very good. Three buttons on top. Power. Three lined button. That's probably going to be your menu button. And then it's got a camera on top of it here. 18650 is uh, opening up smooth. Okay, okay. This is going to cover your video out. If I could get it to go on one take while we're doing this on recording. This is looking great. So guys, I am looking forward to doing a full review of this coming up soon. You know, when these first came out, they were about $6,000. So they were pretty pricey, but they still were $640 coming in underneath the price of an uh, of a Envision Knox 18. So great quality and it has internal recording. But now these have been dropped down to just under $4,000. So for $4,000, you get a thermal device in 640 that is small enough to comfortably be a handheld scanner. It can go on your helmet or it can go on your rifle as a dedicated thermal scope or clip on in front of your dedicated daytime scope. So you get four different options of things that you can do for just under four thousand dollars at 640 with internal recording guys this is going to be fun i'm looking forward to reviewing this real soon showing you lots of footage through it because it is always hog season bye